he mentioned uh, that okay. the, both of them mentioned so many things that need to be addressed here. Uh, okay. The, yes. the, well, in that taming case, the taming the foxes. Let me ask you a question: The Russian experiment that went for fifty some years, producing domesticated foxes. Did they ever get a different kind of animal? Well, how long, how, long, how long were the, were the experiments done? I mean, uh, you know, I don't know of the study, but how long were the experiments done? I mean, you can't all of a sudden just say, well, they, we, they had five or 10 or 50 years, and that's it, and that's all they're going to do. Okay, well, how about with the E. coli? Did they ever get anything other than an E. coli? Or was it still, was it still an E. coli? Did they get anything like a, a hamster or a tomato or a, a worm? Did, is it always a bacteria? Did they get, did they get a new kind? You, you slipped in the word species a couple times there. Uh, the, I'm not talking about species, uh, the, the, the different species of lizard or different species of, you know, something like that. Is it a new kind of animal? Would anybody in the world recognize it as a new kind, which is what the Bible says, they bring forth after their kind? It, was it still a lizard or was it still an E. coli or was it still a fox? You guys are kind, uh, the grasping word, at straws. The, the word kind is, uh, is, is something that we humans label things with okay at this point the the differences are enough that now we're going to say it's a different kind uh, but in reality it's a continuum a continuum there's enough change there to say that this is taking on a different function is it enough to say that okay now here's here, here's how we're going to label new species i don't know that but we have enough uh, of an evolution there to say that this is taking on a new function and uh, you know give us another 10 15 20 years of that and then they'll see well, that goes back to my then, I'll go ahead and inter intervene as moderator. Um, if each side could define their term, you guys, he's complaining that using the word species, if you could define the word species. And Kent, if you wouldn't mind, if you would define kind, I think that would be fair. Okay, well, the Bible says they will bring forth after their kind, so apparently the same kind involves bringing forth, i.e. reproducing. I think dogs and wolves have been demonstrated that they, they certainly are have a common ancestor and came from the common reproducing pair. Um, and the, the E. coli bacteria would also be the same kind. Now, whether it's diploid or triploid, uh, with the, uh, uh, I forget what uh, which tree, tree tree was talking about. I think it was lizards. Um, it's still a lizard, and it, there's no new information. Uh, going triploid is only a duplication of the existing information already there. It's like if I hand you a book and I say, okay, now here's five copies of that book. Oh, wow, that's not new information. It's another copy of the exact same thing. And so a, an extra copy of the chromosomes is not new information. Where are the examples that you can give of new information that changed something into a different kind of animal? And until you find those examples, you should admit you have a religion. You don't have a science. It's a religion masquerading as science. And if that bothers you, I'm sorry, but that's just a fact. Well, well, we'll just have to accept that for what it is. Um, and if you guys, real quickly, if you, you wouldn't mind that. defining species for our 